So here we have 6.5 introduction to simplifying a product of radical expressions univariant. So now we're getting variables involved. Now it really doesn't matter whether there's variables involved. That um, concept that a square root and a square cancel each other still applies. So if I have something inside the house, that square and that square root are still going to undo each other and I'm just going to be left with what's inside the house. So there's really nothing new there, it's just now there's a letter. Now for this problem, um, we have to actually multiply the insides together. So we have 6 times 5, and 6 is not in its prime factorization, is it? 6 can actually be broken up into 2 times 3. So I can write 2 times 3 times 5, and then this C times this C will actually give me C squared. Now none of these have a pair, so all of those are going to stay stuck inside of the square root. But this one does have a pair, so the square root will undo this square, leaving me with a C outside. And then if I just multiply all of that together, we end up with C times the square root of 30. Now this I cannot type in my calculator because there are letters involved. Similarly with this one, this is 2 times 3, so when I multiply this together, I get that 2, that 3, um, the 7, and then the y. We just like the numbers in front and then the variables at the back. But none of these have a pair, so all of it's just going to get multiplied together anyway. And you end up with 42y. And that's the final answer there.